Okay, I'm just waiting to make sure that this is going to uh, going to be picked up correctly um, and heard. I think everything is set correctly. So this is Elrus with a uh, little bit of dwarven armor and the little judgment judgment winches little pieces here, like the little hover bot and the the little Cyclops headpiece, and uh, this is Serana in the Daedric armor. And this is Breedstone. And I've turned off the basement mod. And what we're going to show is this mod. Also turned off a few other things just to make sure, because when you're running your max of mods and you have almost everything turned on, it just seems like it's too much. So I thought a skinnier load would be better to showcase this connected homes mod. I'm going to show you the mod. I mean, though, I did leave my stuff on. Um, let's go down. Oh, I even left the little dolmen things on. That's okay. So anyway, so here's the connected player homes. That's the mod we're going to do. I turned this one off. I felt like it was conflicting. <coughs> and we'll try it separately um, next time. So this is the main one I want to show right now. This one's pretty cool. And I switched to Elris because Elris is based off Elric and has all the uh, vanilla homes. So having all the vanilla homes is a good thing. So we're going to go through the door here, or doors, little trap door in Bree's home, so that you can get into the connected player home. It's a kind of a basement. Um, there's some dressers here, has some things. This door will take you back to Bree's home. Now this would put you out in Skyrim. I hadn't tested to see where in Skyrim. So let's try that real fast and see where that puts us. There's a number of these in front of the different doors. So I'm not sure where in Skyrim these are going to put you. Um, let's see, this is the door to Proud Spire, so maybe maybe this one would put you out near Solitude. And this is the door to Honeyside, so maybe this one would put you out near Riften. But the middle one is right here at Breeze Home, so maybe it would put you out near white run. So let's just give it a quick look and see. I know I started immediately doing this, which could easily crash our game, but hey, let's just see where it puts us. It'll be interesting this way. Oh, um... Okay, it put us outside our house. The chicken is stuck. Oh, oh, it put us outside our house. Um, the the Hell Yarkin Hall. That's the best pronunciation I'm going to be able to do. Interesting. Okay. All right. So, and that's this door takes you back in. I suppose. So those three must line up with the three manors you get to build yourself. So one of these is probably Lakeview and that's that kind of thing. It doesn't say which one it is, though, so you just have to try them and figure it out. Um, that's the Vendral Hall. That's the house in Markarth. Let's see, what did we say? This is the house in Riften. That's Bree's home, of course, for Whiterun. Hurum. Hurum? Is that Windhelm? You know, I never paid attention to the name of the house in Windhelm. Let's just go and make sure that's it. I don't pay much attention to that house. I mean, you usually do the quest for it. I usually do get it. And outfit it and everything. Yeah, it's here. Yep, they put the little door here next to your alchemy table. Oh. Okay, she's fast. I don't know how she got to us, but she's quick. All right, so let's go back. So 
So this becomes almost like a basement for all your houses. It allows you to do some smelting and crafting, blacksmithing. It has nice little figures on the shelf here, which is cute and silly and fun at the same time. Um, lots of storage down here. You could actually use this as a central storage location so that no matter which house or town you're in, you could always come down here and do your crafting. And like I say, there's storage. See, there's storage for everything. You know, I mean, it doesn't have mannequins, but to be honest, you don't have to have mannequins. And all your houses will have mannequins, so you can still do that type of thing. Hmm. So, this might be the best all-around basement mod. Simply because you can always use it from every house. And even when you get Breeze home early in the game, you could come down here and um, use your stuff. Maybe I'll try that for a while. This is pretty good. It's simple. I mean, it has a little bit of everything you need. I don't see anything missing. It's got storage. It's got a door to each house. It's got storage. It's got all the crafting tables. Well, that's really all you need. That's one thing that... <clears throat> All of the houses are pretty good, but that's one thing that Breeze Home really needs anyway, is it never has, especially if you want to have the, the kid's bedroom, it never has enough um, crafting places. You always have to go out in town and run around. I wonder if this forge would count as a, uh, well, this isn't even a forge. I wonder if this counts as the, uh, what's the name of that place? The, uh, oh, I'm just coming up blank. You know, the Sky Forge. There we go. Mm, I don't think it does. No, it doesn't, because it's not letting me make... There's a special armor I can make if it's a Sky Forge. Which is the only thing I don't like about that mod. But anyway, other than that, though... This is still good. It's not really truly a forge anyway. It's an anvil. But it works. And it's got, you got the little rack. And this is, yeah, this is not bad. I could see using this. Oh, look at the little coin purses. Woo, I'll leave them for decoration. I don't really need the money. Okay, so you get the idea. This goes to Severin Manor. Oh, did I do this correctly? think you're supposed to do Severin Manor Tweaks and this in a particular order. Let me check what the modders said about that, because I don't know if I have them in the correct... Of course, really, if you have this, you don't need Severin Manor Tweaks. Those tweaks are mainly to add like a alchemy pouch and some little things like that to give make that house a little more um, player friendly. It gives you a little more storage and stuff like that. So let me just check. I probably have these in the wrong order though. Because I wasn't really thinking that much about it. So I have Severin Manor tweaks up here. And I have connected homes down here. If you use Severin Tweaks, make sure to leave that one below this one. Well, you know, I messed up. I've got Severin Manor Tweaks above it. So it might crash us if we went to Severin Manor. <clears throat> oh, but you know what? Let's be daring. Let's just try it anyway. If it crashes me, I'll just turn off Severin Manor Tweaks. I don't think I need both of these mods anyway. And I probably don't need the Breezing Basement mod if you use it this there.
And so there you go. That's why you always try to pay attention to the modders' notes and put things in the order they say because they will know of a conflict that you will not necessarily know of. <laughs> and that crash proves that out. Though really, if I keep this, I don't really need Severin Manor tweaks, so I'm probably going to eliminate that. And I'll keep this connected basement. But we're going to test out the Breeze Home basement, so... Um, let's see, I can't get rid of that right now, though, because I'm technically in the basement. Um, hmm, let's go into the mods for a moment. I could reload from where I'm in Breeze Home. Give me just a second. <coughs> Pardon me. That's what we'll do. I'll reload from where I'm in Breeze Home, and I'll go ahead and change these around. Okay, pardon me. And then then I'm going to be done. That's really that's enough for today. We can do some of this other stuff later. Um, let's see. Dun, dun, dun. I want to go play some anyway. Okay, so this I'm just going to turn this off and actually I'm going to remove it. I'm not going to use it anymore. I think I'm going to keep Do I need this anymore? Hmm, I'm going to hold on to it for now. Um, so this one, I'm going to turn that one off, and we'll turn this one on. I'm going to keep this one, the connected one, and I'm going to try this one, but I think I'm going to keep the connected one, because <clears throat> all around it would be probably the most useful of the little basement mods. That's totally subjective, but that's just what I think. Oh, this is actually back uh, Okay, it really is back up. Okay, so I was worried that they weren't going to put this back up at all, but they did, so okay. Alright, so I didn't realize it was back up. That's my mistake. So, what's the update do? I'm a little scared of the update. Let me see. Please read the updates provided here. Oh, this is still a test and not... Okay, I'm not sure if I want to download this or not. Oh, let's try it. We'll, we'll try the update. So far, I've trusted this person, so we'll continue to try that. This is probably a bad time to do this since I've done all this other stuff, but let's let it load here. I don't even have it enabled right now because I had that other mod running, so I guess it doesn't matter. I can just... Just having some coffee while I'm waiting.
All right, so we got that down. That was fun. I'm going to disable it, put it back where it goes for later use. Because we were still focusing on this right now, even though that's not the focus of this particular little stream. Okay, so let's go back in and try the Breeze Home Basement. Was there anything else? I think it was the Breeze Home Basement was the f what we really wanted to try. And um, I took out the Severin Manor patches, so that should be fine without that. So, Okay. Hopefully the music won't get me dinged. I don't know. They're so particular about music nowadays. I turn the music off where I can, but I can't turn it all off. It's just ridiculous the way they copyright us for that. Anyway, so let's go. Oh, wait. No, don't do that. Let's do a load. crashed out. Okay, so I really just want to get through this one thing. <laughs> and I will be done. So hopefully it won't crash out on me again. The game is being pretty particular. But it's probably my own fault. I have, I'm stressing it out. I've got everything maxed out. and Right now I'm switching things around right and left, so... Alright, so let's go down here and try again. There we go. Alright, so we don't want to go in there. Or there. Do I want to be out there? Well, you know what? Let's just... Let's just go here. That'll be fine. Yeah, don't worry about all that. So let's just go there. And we'll travel back and we'll check out the Breeze Home Basement. This will give the whole cell a chance to reload anyway. It'll probably be for the better. One good thing about the Breeze Home Basement mod is it does give you the little icon so you can travel directly to Breeze Home. Have that advantage. But I really like that connected player homes basement. That's really, really nice. It's a good idea. And I've tried that out before, and I don't remember why I didn't keep it. Probably just because I was goofing off so much, changing things around. Okay, so let's go. I think I still have Lucian with me, but that's okay. Let's go to Breeze Home. There's the fast travel icon I mentioned. We're just going to go in and see if we can go down to the basement. All the chickens. Okay. So this is good. It put us right here. That's nice. Let's go in. All right, so it's supposed to be Breeze Home Basement. There's supposed to be hmm. Did I misunderstand? Oh wait, there it is. It's by the 
<clears throat> I was wrong. It's over here. Oh, well, maybe you could have both then. You might be able to have both the connected homes and this one since they use different spots. <clears throat> Let's go check out the basement. Okay, the basement. Oh, what's this? Well, the basement is probably about as big as most of Bree's home. Let's see, so you've got a smelter and an anvil, you've got a workbench, you've got a tanning rack, you got the grindstone, you got a, a chest for storage, and some other stuff. Okay, so in here, you've got enchanting and weapon racks, you got some food stuff. Can you cook at that fireplace? Let's see if you can cook at the fireplace. Mm, no. You can smelt. How about that anvil? Is that... Well, it's noisy, so it's a good anvil in that sense. Okay. Um, the smelter is fine. Is there anything special I should see here? Let me look around. No, 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 no. Okay, so this is nice. Alright, so it's basically two good sized rooms. You've got a couple of display cases. Some good storage. You got your alchemy lab with the, the little satchels that you would want. And you've got a chest here next to the uh, enchanter. And you can see those red candles again. Since that was something I was also highlighting, trying to highlight during this show. Um, oh, so we got some little storage. Okay. So this would make your, like... If you just wanted Bree's home to have a basement that had more stuff and give you more crafting areas, this would be a good basement. It doesn't give you uh, mannequins if you want mannequins, but it does give you everything else. Um, I know some people don't even like mannequins, so which they can be scary, so I, I understand that. All right, so... Let's go back up. Okay, I didn't seem to have any trouble with that. Um, hey, she followed me down there, too. So, obviously, your followers can go down there. Um, I don't know. I imagine Lydia is around here somewhere. She likes to sit up here a lot. Oh, she's not sitting here. I wonder if I left her somewhere else or told her to go somewhere. Oh, yeah, I moved. That's right. We moved somewhere else. All right, well, that's it. That's the basement mods. Um, I think I like the Connected Homes one better simply because of all the uh, options of being able to travel quickly to the other homes and the other locations. That could be very handy depending on what you're doing. But, the Breeze Home Basement is very good, too. It's, it's a good starter if you don't want the, what, maybe it's more immersive in a way, or eh, however you want to look at it, if you don't want the uh, uh, being connected to all your homes at once type of thing, if you don't want that kind of travel, then uh, the Breeze Home Basement is good. It looks nice. It's cozy. It's two rooms. And it's basically got everything you want, so. Alright. I think that's it. That's all I really wanted to cover. We've gone through the candles and the connected homes and the Breeze Home Basement. And I'm probably forgetting something else, but I'll put the links on it when I put it on YouTube, okay? Alright, so. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you later.